Well, Happy New Year! It's 2015 and let me tell you, I think that 2015 is going to be the best year of our lives. I really do. I don't know about you, but I have set my intentions for a phenomenal year. You know, almost the whole month of December, I just was getting myself ready and I think getting ready is a process in and of itself. You have to be mentally prepared. You really have to set your intentions. What is it I want to feel? What is it I want to accomplish? What is it I want to see happen for me in 2015? You know, intentions really are the driving force for your life. If you think about what intentions are, it's sort of like you're setting your direction. You're kind of putting your, your ship in the water, you're setting your sails and you're saying, this is where I intend to go. This is what I intend to happen. This is what I intend to see happening for me. And if you haven't done that yet, this is what today's Crystal's Corner is all about. Intention is really the cause of all the effects of our life. Intention. You know, uh, Lynn McTaggart, the author of The Intention Experiment, she's a, a brilliant woman, a brilliant journalist, and she was involved in this experiment to, and you, you really should read the book, The Intention Experiment, in, in sort of seeing what is the power of our thoughts, the power of our intentions in the world. She rounded up some of the most brilliant people, scientists, um, I mean, people that are highly respected in the world of, of physics and science, and she got them all together and, we, and they set their intentions. They really got clear on mindfulness. Mindfulness means being really present to the here and now, being in the now, as Eckhart totally calls it, being very mindful, and then mindful about what it is they wanted to accomplish. And I want to actually just read you a little something as I grab my fabulous little Mac computer here. Lynn McTaggart, author of The Intention Experiment, writes, a sizable body of research exploring the nature of consciousness carried on for more than 30 years in prestigious scientific institutions around the world shows that thoughts are capable of affecting everything from the simplest machines to the most complex living beings. Thoughts are capable of affecting everything. I got to tell you how many times I've been so stressed out. My computer goes down, this crashes, that crashes. I'm under too much pressure. And really in that moment is when I need to step away and say, you know, how do I feel right now? What do I want to feel instead? And to come back when I'm in a, a better state of mind. She goes on to say, this evidence suggests that human thoughts and intentions are an actual physical something with the astonishing power to change our world. Every thought we have is a tangible energy with the power to transform. A thought is not only a thing, a thought is a thing that influences other things. So just imagine for a moment, as you head out into 2015, you know, if before every encounter, especially the ones that are normally stressful, you really set your intentions. How do I want to feel? What do I want to see happen? You know, all of those are questions. And one of my favorite ones is if I could wave a magic wand and I was guaranteed success, what is it that I would wish for? As you head into 2015, I would love for you to really set your intentions. What is it you want to see happen? How do you want to feel? You know, be very clear on it. And every day, spend a few minutes just really being mindful. Close your eyes and see yourself accomplishing what it is you want to accomplish. The clearer you are on what it is you want, on your desires, the easier it is for you to really create it in your reality. You know, for years I used to kind of wonder, do I see things before they happen? Or do I will them into being? Do I have such a willing spirit that I'm able to will things? You know that great saying, where there's a will, there's a way? And I think maybe it's a little bit of both. We have intuition. We have gut feelings on where we should go and, and what lights us up. And that's the direction you want to head in. But there's also the power of your willingness, the power of your intentions, the power of your spirit. So as you head into this year, take a few moments. Get really clear. What is it you want? What do you want to feel? What do you want to see happen? Set those intentions for yourself and watch as energy follows your intention. Do you understand what that means? Energy follows intention. If you have good intentions, you'll set yourself up with good energy. You'll send off good energy into every relationship. Like imagine you're going to see someone that you normally argue with and you drive in the car in the way they're saying, I've set the intention for peace. 
I'm going to have a peaceful encounter. No matter what happens, I'm going to have a peaceful encounter. Or I'm going to be very courageous, whatever it is. For me, I've set the intention that I am losing 20 pounds. No, I'm releasing. I'm not losing anything. I'm letting go of 20 pounds that have served me as protection over these last, say, five, six years of intense working. And it's really been a whirlwind for me the last five years. This year is the year that I've set my intentions for a whole lot of self-care, a whole lot of self-love, and a whole lot of self-nurturing. What are your intentions? I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and I promise I will respond and get back to you. And if you love this blog, share it with your friends. Come on back because we have some really great things happening here on Crystal's Corner. We also have some amazing courses that are coming up in the next little bit. So I would love to be able to tell you about those too. But anyways, leave your name and your email down below. Sign up for Crystal's Corner to come to your inbox every week. And of course, leave me a comment. Tell me what your intentions are for 2015. And together as a community, we will really create such a global consciousness, such a global coalition of such positive intentions that our lives will begin to unfold in 2015 like we probably never even knew was possible. Happy New Year, and I can't wait to hear from you. Bye for now.